Question 4C is a simple rocket system consists of two parts um, A of mass 3M. So let me jot that down. So we have A, and then the same that the mass is uh, 3M uh, kg or some unit, and then B of mass 2M. So we have B, uh, which is mass of uh, 2M. Uh, kg or some unit i'm not so sure as shown in the diagram as shown in the diagram below uh, b is tagged on top of a and if you look on the left hand side there it is um before the collision uh, b is on top of a and then after the collision a is going down and then b keeps on going up i'm assuming um 4.1 says uh, state the principle of conservation of momentum in words uh, that is just uh, the total uh, linear momentum in an isolated system is conserved right um, the sum of uh, momentum before is equals to the sum of momentum after in an isolated system and then uh, 4.2 uh, says the rocket is traveling vertically upward at a constant speed v so let me write that down a uh, when it's with b uh, their velocity um, let me write that down their velocity is one divided by three uh, v uh, no it's actually their velocity is v i'm sorry uh, when an internal uh, explosion causes a to move downwards at a speed one divided by three v so uh, there's a explosion an internal explosion and now a is moving uh, downwards at v equals to one divided by three v right and then for b uh, we don't know what is going on and then uh the question says okay ignore all external forces on the rocket uh, the question now says calculate the velocity of b in terms of v immediately immediately after the internal uh, explosion so this is our uh, scenario let me get it this is our scenario uh, before the explosion and then this is what we have after the explosion so this uh, momentum here before is supposed to be equals to this momentum here after that's what uh, the conservation of momentum uh, states that uh, the sum of the momentum before is equals to the sum of the momentum after if the system is isolated or is closed and then the question says ignore all the forces on the rocket so that tells us that uh, the, uh, the system is closed okay so um, before uh, the masses are together right so that will be um, m of a body a plus m of body b and then they're traveling at the same velocity and uh, that's what the equation states and then after uh, they saying that a goes down so we'll have m uh, a the mass of a and then uh, the velocity of a which we are given and uh, now that uh, they've exploded they're no longer together so the masses are apart so we're gonna have the mass of b and then uh, the velocity of b uh, the mass of a uh, is said to be uh, 3m so we're gonna put 3m uh, plus the mass of b which is uh, 2m and then the velocity is just given as v so that's exactly what we're going to have uh, the mass of a we already said that is 3m and then the velocity of m is 1 over 3 v but then uh, i want you to realize that um, a is going down and common sense <laughs> says we always take up as positive if you take down as positive that's fine but then to me it doesn't make sense up is positive so because a is going down instead of 1 over 3v i'm going to put minus 1 over 3v right um, minus 1 over 3v uh, plus 
m of b is 2 meters so oh it's 2m i'm sorry uh, so we're gonna have uh, 2m uh, multiplied by uh, the velocity which we are interested in so that's what we are supposed to find so 3m plus uh, 2m will give you 5m then multiply by v that's 5mv right uh, that's our left hand side of the equation then 3m multiplied by minus 1 over 3v and uh, that will give you uh, minus 1v right so, uh, minus 1mv right uh, because this 3 here on the denominator is gonna cancel out with this 3 and then uh, plus 2m um, v Let, let's denote this as v of b so that we don't confuse uh, our variable v with uh, the v of b we're trying to determine so the next step is to take uh, this term here uh, to the left hand side so that we can isolate v of b uh, so we're gonna have when it goes to the other side it's gonna change its sign obviously so we're gonna have six um m v equals to 2 m v of b uh, we divide both sides by um, by 2 m so that we can isolate v of b divide by 2 m um yeah we're gonna be left with 3 here yeah, because 6 divided by 2 is 3 right so this will imply that <coughs> v of v of uh, the body b is equals to uh, 3v uh, the question says uh, we must find it in terms of v so that is what we're going to find so it's 3v upwards uh, because uh, we taking up as positive um that's that's how we do the problem um it's not really complicated apart from the fact that uh, now we have a vertical uh, we're working on the vertical and usually on momentum and impulse you're working on you're working on the horizontal uh, but then apart from that it's just straightforward uh, the masses are, are joined initially and then after that uh, they're separated so uh, for ep before you're going to uh, add the masses and have one velocity and then for ep after uh, you're gonna have the separate masses with the different velocities um yes i think i should do a, a separate introductory video on momentum and impulse um so you can let me know in the comment if yeah that's something you'd be interested in so if we move ahead we have 4.3 uh, which says um the graph below shows the average force exerted by a on b during the internal explosion uh, as a function of time um, and then, there we have it on the y-axis we have average force and then on the x-axis we have time uh, the question says name the physical quantity uh, represented uh, by the area under the graph um, so to conclude the area under the graph you have to multiply uh, the length uh, by the breadth right uh, uh, assuming that the length is going up then it means you're gonna have force uh, the average force uh, so force average uh, multiply by uh, the time right uh, but then the time doesn't start at zero so it's it's basically a delta t because you have some time initial and some time final and then which quantity is given by f average multiplied by delta t uh, that is delta p right so the physical quantity represented uh, by the area under the graph is um impulse uh change in momentum so that is coming from the formula so this is what the equation is asking for right so that is coming from the formula f net uh, equals to delta p uh, divided by um, delta t um so let's move ahead uh, 4.4 it says uh, redraw the graph in your answer book on the same set of axes uh, sketch the graph on the average 
uh, sketch the graph of the average falls that x that b exists on a as a function of time uh, so let me just put in a, an axis there so there's our y uh, there's our x and then so we have force average and then we have time in seconds right and then that's um that's f a on b right the equation says find f b on a uh, newton's third law says that if body a exert a force on body b body b will exert a force on body a of equal magnitude but then in the opposite direction so because this graph is on top of the x axis we're just supposed to draw uh, the same thing but then below the x axis uh, so that uh, the force has a negative sign right equal magnitude but um opposite direction so these two are supposed to be equal this part and this part um and that's it for this question um if you like the video uh please subscribe